Jacques LaRouge. I'm a sophomore at Miller North. Yay! And this is my poem. She sells seashells by the seashore. But then she was sued right out of her store. Multi-conglomerate businesses had the rights to the sea. But the sea is for everyone, said she. Ah, but not for thee. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Everyone asks how, no one asks why. The woodchuck is alone after three addictions and two wives. His life is meaningless, he was delirious. All he has is his job chucking wood, now such. So please don't ask how much. Peter Hiker picked a peck of pickled peppers. Because he's homeless, low wage means worthless. His job on the farm left them starving, and he's so sick he can't out barfing. One peck of a pickle won't hurt. Oh no, farmer saw dead in the dirt. How many cookies could a good cook cook up a good cook could cook cookies? <laughs> Here's a question: Would it satiate the corporate greed? Would it stop the big businesses? Is the answer I need? Could he cook up a recipe to cure the economy's health? Could he bake a way to evenly distribute the wealth? <laughs> He's no all-powerful master. He can't explain this recipe for disaster. She stood on the balcony, inexplicably mimicking hiccuping, and she amicably welcoming him in. She says, when it comes to luck, you're certainly lower. I don't see how you couldn't not prevent foreclosure. The crying family in the other room, packing their things in the boxes. They were the rats, and the banks were the foxes. Minimum wage can't support a wife and two kids. Barely supports one man on the government's bid. Isn't it funny how some things can be so simple and innocent, and with one twist of the tongue, they're completely turned around? So when Congress is debating hot topics like the economy, welfare, and homelessness, why are they always twisting their words into knots until they cannot a knot they've tied their tongues into? So the next time you see a congressman, tell them, cut it with the tongue twisters. Woo! <laughs>